and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm gonna go over something pretty crazy, not gonna lie. Shout out to Gut Fox, first and foremost, before anyone gets on my ass about that. I just wanna let, the, I wanna let you guys know this was not my method. This is not, first off, a method that I created, okay? Let's get that out of the way, first and foremost. Gut Fox and his Discord and whatever else, they figured it out. Gut Fox posted it live last night. If you guys haven't checked this video, make sure to go check it out. He posted this method live, right? This method went so crazy and broke the game to the point that EA had to actually get rid of it now i'll go into that more in detail first off it was crashing the market right because there was an influx of training from the method so prices have come down they, ha they haven't recovered entirely yet but prices have come down but this method was it, it was the perfect storm because typically a coin making method involves getting players selling players right so it doesn't last very long if i post a method for you guys it lasts about an hour and then everyone starts doing it and the, the prices get ruined right this method involved sets and re-rolls so the prices didn't entirely change so you were really able to profit off of it because all the conversion you had to do, you never really killed one aspect of the market. Eventually it starts to roll over prices, but it really still didn't affect it too much. Apparently people were making one to five million coins in a day. Like it was crazy. What was going on? I didn't get wind of this till Gut Fox posted it. And by that point, EA literally, st EA's whole ass team stayed up probably all night getting rid of this method like, that's just so funny to me that when things are wrong in this game they don't touch it but when there's a way for us to make free coins now this does confirm one thing right it has been trying to get rid of methods this year and I'll, I'll go into that as we get into the video guys before we get into it if you're already into this channel and you're here checking out this vid make sure to subscribe to the channel turn that know you but boys we are about 1800 subscribers from 220k guys that's our next big milestone it's crazy since our 10k milestone let's hit this 20k and keep grinding boys for the big 10 1000 k you guys know what i'm saying but Keep it coming, boys. And if you're here, make sure to smash the like button. Can we get 500 likes in this video? I feel like this is a pretty crazy vid. Make sure to run the like button up. Naughty gang, you gotta go strong. Help me out here. And comment down below what you guys think of this. And did you guys get a chance to do this method? Let me know. Now, the way this worked, right? So you go over to store. Now, the way it worked was with this reroll set. Now, I don't have the exact logistics of it. I believe Gut Fox has a spreadsheet of it and everything on his channel, but it was an 82 plus set. Now, I believe this is not working anymore, guys. So don't go running over that to go check it out. Like, you can check it out later after this vid, of course. But. You did this 82 plus set, right? And apparently, like, you kept the 82s and you kept the 88s and you quick sold everything else. And then all the cards you got, right? Remember, the benefit of the set also is that you could pull bangers. But the, the reason this, this method was so good is because if you pulled bad things, you could still use them. It wasn't like, oh, I pulled an 82, I lost training. No. The good things, the good things you sold, and the 88s to 88, the 82s and 88s you kept. But, like, you could still pull a 95 out of here and, like, really make bang. Like, on top of already making coins, that was the beauty, right? Let me, let me, let me settle this. So on top of making coins off the sets you did afterwards, you also made coins if you pulled anything good. So like it was like one of the sets where you could pull bad things and make coins. I believe it was like you went over to the Super Bowl Pass set, you tossed all the 82s into here, that you got, and then you tossed all the 88s into here. So pretty much you got the lowest overall interval player. So you need five 88s and I believe six six 82s. So you toss six 82s and then you toss five 88s that you pulled into here. You get your 95 player, you sell that. Then anything else, you quick sold. So you get a 95 overall player, you quick sell it. And then as well as the stuff you made for the gingerbread players. So you'd also go over to here. And this is what they changed, right? So EA got rid of this. The Zero Chill. Well, this has been a coin making method for a while, right? Gingerbread Adrian Peterson, Amari Cooper, and Tanner. People have been taking advantage of this for a while. I'll get into that in a little bit. But let's head on over to the market. Show you guys kind of what changed and what was going on. Now, that specifically was a set that people have been using as a way to kind of like cheat around using trainings get like a good bang for your buck and finish sets with now I'll go over i'll go over all that as we get into this video but i want to show over go ahead over to the market and show you guys kind of what changed here now some players went up that were being used obviously but other otherwise things came down like things really did come down a little bit now let's come over to the 94 75 things are things are recovering of course because it can't it can't be dead forever right because it is it is madden and they got rid of it right so things are gonna start coming back up but at the time, things were coming down. And these Super Bowl players are already like base 200. If you guys remember yesterday, Clay Matthews and Timmerman were like, when I did the set, originally they were like 230, 250. Now they're at 206, 209, which doesn't seem significant to you guys. Probably a little 30K change, but you had all three players. That's a 100K loss right there. You know, the dividends of each thing add up. It really does. Now come over to the 96, 97s. Steve Young's almost below into the 280K range. Like he's going to be there pretty soon. Because as long as those other three players come down, so does he. My run for was an LTD. He didn't really get affected too much. Now, guys, just remind you this, right? It is 9.30 in the morning, like really early. And the market isn't, the market looks like midday, like prime time low already. And it's the morning. Morning things are morning things are higher. Once everyone hops on here and stuff and people start maybe selling all that stuff they got, 
guys, it's going to come down even more. And then this supposed to drop new content today, I'm telling you. You're going to be seeing this later, right? So when you're seeing this, it'll be apl applicable by then. You guys would have already seen all the content. But I'm recording this in the morning. Things are already, already down. And it's not even then. And things are recovering too. But the point being here is that the market was crashing. And this is what we confirmed, right? So all year, me and Zerg have had this theory that EA does not want us to make coins. And it, it makes sense, right? Not really a theory. But the theory, there's been little things this year that we're like, wow, this would have made a really good coin method. But ironically, there's like one little niche to it that like doesn't allow it to work. Such as like them making nat players half the training to make sure that you can't farm training and then transfer it over. Or them making some of the set players you get a quarter of the training. Or some of the sets they made so you can only pick one nat player. They've been doing things all year, like little things that me and him were like, wow. You know, I, I don't want to say this, but I feel like EA does not want there to be any coin making methods anymore. Because in years past, guys, there used to be a new coin making method on the block every single week. It was like, okay, new method, new method, new method. This year, it's like you see a new method on YouTube some of them are just clickbait right some methods are just pure clickbait they're not even real methods but like there's been legitimately like i can say legitimately like four methods this year that actually worked like this style maybe four this was the best one yet and each one has somehow disappeared and this one is like this one was so good ea actually removed the set in in theory i'll, I'll go over that now i'm gonna go back to i want to explain all the, the math and everything to you guys before i went over so people used to use this set in the zero chill to go over pretty much what go around go around player overall so let's say the, the set required 292 overall players it was actually cheaper to complete the adrian peterson set with gingerbread men using training and getting the exchanges and everything with these right here and all that stuff it was cheaper to make an adrian peterson and put him into the 91 92 set or mari cooper you guys get the point at that right so people used to just spam these they'd make like 10 adrian petersons and they would have got them for like a discount of like 30k per 20k per so it made it made everything worthwhile right because most method most sets, you break close to even, but if you can save 20k per player, 60k profit every time, you just spam it all day. So, this used to be repeatable. So, last night, after Gunfox posted his video, things were getting so out of hand with people just farming coins, like millions, like actual mil like no joke. He Gut was saying that, well, Gut Fox should say Gut sounded weird, is that people were getting like 2 to 5 million coins like a day, like things were crazy. And remember, the reason EA cares about this is because every coin that you get is coins they lose. See, for all the people who have 300k out there, when there's new content comes out, you're like, damn, I really want the new card. And then you like, you break out the credit card, right? You want that new card, you, you pit, you're pissed off that you don't have enough coins, and you get enticed and you buy it, right? Now, if there's people out there with 3 to 5 million coins for free, they're set for the year. Truthfully, 3 to 5 million coins, if you spend it smartly, you're set for the year. So they just, EA just lost customers, right? Let's say each of those 10 people, let's say just out of, out of a total of 10 people, right? They have 5 million coins and they're not buying packs for their steel. Let's say those guys spent like a hundred dollars a month which is not a lot of mad considering what i've seen people spend that's a thousand dollars ea just lost that's 10 people the community is over like a million people so think, just think about that right there right if 10 people can lose them a thousand a million people lose them a lot of money a lot of people know this method so ea was not playing around now i find this really funny because ironically when things are actually genuinely broken in madden nothing happens it takes weeks they gotta wait for a patch they can't go in but in the middle of the, I understand the morning. They woke up this morning at 1030 and like said there was, and they just did it secretly. At least they were in the office. They did it overnight. Like last night it was up and this morning it wasn't. So that means they did it sometime between the night. So they actually go out of their way for, to save their pockets. They go out of their way. They put bare minimum effort until it comes to making money. Then they put full effort. It's just really funny, right? Whatever. We're beyond it. It's gone. I just want to, I want to get this out to you guys. You guys can know what EA did. It's so funny that this method was that good. Like, you know how good something has to be? For each second. I feel bad for all you guys who never saw the video and never got to take advantage of it. I actually didn't. I, I wasn't home. I watched the video. I was like, damn, wish I was home for this. But by the time I got home, it was really late. And I just never ended up doing it. And I probably should have because EA has it gone. It's gone now. So that must have been pretty good for EA to notice it and then take it out of the game. I don't know if someone reported it or EA saw Gut Fox's video. I really don't know the logistics. Maybe they could see. I, I, have this, I feel like maybe in their headquarters, they could probably see like all the coins generated on each team and they see millions of coins generated on certain accounts and like, how's this happening? And they look into it. I feel like they've been fixing a lot of things this year. Fixing the markets, make sure things aren't too expensive, make sure things aren't too cheap, make sure they're always making the coins, dropping cards so that you lose coin. I don't know. I think like some, some things are a little sketchy this year, but guys, it is about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Hope this helps you guys out as far as just being informed what's going on. You guys probably didn't even know that set was gone now. It's not repeatable. People used to make like 20 Adrian Petersons a day. Now you can only make one on per account and you're done. Can never do it again. Theoretically, that's how it should have been from the beginning because those cards, those cards aren't, are, are they not? I don't remember, but those cards, that's how it should have been from the beginning, realistically. But it wasn't. Now, for them to do it now out of nowhere, it's not a coincidence. And then just decide, oh, on January 27th, in the middle of the night, we're going to make them non-repeatable because that's, no, that doesn't work like that. 
But hope this I hope this informed you guys. If you guys have it now that you're done with this video, of course, go check out Gut Fox's video. Watch the whole video so you can see like the craziness behind that method. He has a spreadsheet down below, so you can go check that out. Credit to him as always. Crazy dude. I don't know where he got that from. I don't know who he collabed with mentally for that, but that was a pretty uh pretty pretty elaborate method. I mean, credit to him for breaking Ye. That was that was fun. But hope this entertained you guys a little bit too, as far as the fact that Ye was broken. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn that only bell boys. Come join the family. Let's get this 20k as quickly as possible. Comment down below what you guys think of this. Feel free to trash EA down below. I always, I always get entertained by those uh, comments. And make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get 500 likes in this video, guys? Let's go crazy with the like button. If you're still here this far, if you made it this far, you probably liked the video. So give it a big thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to check out my 1030 video as well. I'm out. See you in the next video. Peace.